Hello everyone, it's Janet here with another project for the Wild Bunch and Wild Orchid Crafts. I have so much fun using their products. So what I made this time, I have several people that I want to give a little something to and so this is kind of a heart card hanging thing. Um, I made several of these hearts using chicken wire and then I have wire hang so that they can hang. Let me uh, put a board back behind here so maybe you can see each one a little bit better. So this is the first one and it's just a piece of chicken wire back here and then I put the um, Tim Holtz tissue tape around all of the edges so because they were kind of pokey and then sometimes the chicken wire I actually used aviary wire but it starts to unravel so that stopped that so I have tissue tape going around the edges I've kind of painted over the chicken wire with vintage white and in this case I even put a little aqua in different spots and also use some dis Tim Holtz distress powder, embossing powder, and embossed it in places and tried to make it grunge it up a little bit. And around the edge of this one, I used the ivory flat back pearl string quarter inch. That is WD00028. That's that product right there. So I went around all of the edges with that. In the back here, I have some of the Gapure cream lace. LA00027 so I have it kind of in a flower all the way in the that is at the base of this little arrangement right here and then I have some pink seam binding some jute ribbon some little pieces of ephemera from the girls papery then over here I have a heart charm that came from the mixed heart charm pack JW00022 and I actually added a little antique white paint to that a little bit of seam binding at the top. Here's some little pink tone roses from the set AEX 00014 10 millimeter. Those here and here and then I used a rose from the mixed two tone 5 8 inch roses which is PM 00128 the little aqua rose down here and then the bigger pink rose up here is both from this pack. This one here and this one here. So that is that one. It says happy birthday. And then I did another one here. Similar technique on this one. I have back behind here I have some of the Ivory Gapure Lace LA00050 have some pieces poking up with some ephemera and an old clock piece and a cardstock flourish. Have some little hip roses back here. Some pink small curly wild roses FM00259. I think these are some of my absolute favorites. And I also used some of the vintage seam cream, the seam binding in cream SB00005. And I actually dyed that with a little bit of tea and then crumpled it up while it was still wet so they'd have that more vintage look to it. And then back here I have some of the light brown jute ribbon, JUT003. Looks like this. And in this case, I added a little bit of vintage white paint in places. So that is that one. And this one here is for a very special person who's been having kind of a tough time so um, I wanted to do hers in blacks and creams and I, the saying on this one is just thinking of you and I used the black Gipure lace in the background and I think all of you know how much I just love the Gipure lace LA00028 very beautiful and I have it here in the back and then I have on top of that I have some of the natural cotton lace LA00009 some of that right on top and I kind of made a flower in the background for both of those things also have some of the light brown jute ribbon that I did the same technique on this one some black seam binding a little ephemera from the Prima Almanac paper and this is one of those decorative crown pins that I added this tea, part, 
teapot charm and some beads too. And then this here is the first time I've had some of these flowers and they're very beautiful and fun to work with. They're the Deep Ivory Baby's Breath Flowers, WD00009. And they look like this. So those were fun to work with. I also have a black crystal so, uh, crystal drops on silver stems, CR00002, and they look like this, and I have that in the background here. Also used a little black um, charm, it's a shaped like a leaf back here, and then I also have some of the black rose trimming in the small 0Z00017. I cut off a piece here and here, and that is this beautiful ribbon here. And I have a charm, let's see, up here with a piece of a jute bow and some beads. And I just use my glossy accents to get them to stay up in that corner. And for that one, I made a little glassine bag that it will fit into. And I used the Prima Almanac paper. The base piece back here is the toile, which I used the distressor on and some vintage photo. And then I made a band that went all this, this piece here, and I did use a Martha Stewart, or actually this is a EK Success punch here, and the band goes all the way around. I used tissue tape at the back, and I made it into a pocket so this piece pulls out, and my note is on the back to her. And I wrapped the ivory seam binding around it and tied a bow and added some black seam binding and used one of the small gardenia flowers on the top FS00104 so then I'll put the heart in there and I will mail that off now this other project is for I'm going to see a friend who just had surgery today and so this is the bouquet that I made that I'm taking to her I got the holder and the vases from cost plus um, I made a little card using the Prima um, Nature's let's see Nature's Garden collection, and I used one of the hydrangea cream blooms in two inch BM00008, and I have that in the back. I kind of cut it to make the petals a little bit smaller, and then I used one of the cherry blossoms from the green white tone flower pack EX00046 and that was from this pack right here and I will put the links for everything down below and this piece is a pebble from the pink paisley's butterfly garden collection those collections actually work really really well together and then along the edge here I have some natural cotton lace LA00020 simple little card and I actually have a little glassine bag envelope for it that I use the Nature Garden rub on to put on the front of that and then I'll put her name on and this will actually be see through here when I put it in the envelope. So and I will write my little sentiment inside. So then this is the arrangement and I made another one of these hearts for this arrangement and it says dear friend and around the top edge I added some jute twine some green seam binding another one of those cream gardenias a flourish and then I have a butterfly from the butterfly embellishments pack which is JW00014 that's the filigree antique butterflies these are very very beautiful have the wire going around with some coral seam binding, some jute string, and a button at the top. And these are fresh flowers that I picked up at Trader Joe's and made the arrangements and put rocks in the bottom. So I'm going to take those up to her shortly. But thanks everyone so much for watching and appreciate any comments you feel like leaving. And if there's any other kind of videos that you would like for me to make, please let me know. Thank you. Bye.